I wanted to just quickly jump in here before this week is over because I know that um, this is probably last week for a lot of kids before the Christmas break. At least it is for my child. So I wanted to do a quick little gift guide and give you guys ideas of what to give your kid's teacher if you want. Um, I'm not a teacher. I don't really know. I'm just a mom that's giving this gift to my kid's teacher. She actually has three teachers in her class. So giving a gift to everyone, which made it more expensive. But you guys can always do other cute things like get them um, a custom ornament. Um, for the Christmas tree or just like a gift card. Uh, I know a lot of teachers don't like mugs, but we did it anyway. <laughs> um, they like travel mugs maybe, like that's give them something different. Um, I would recommend maybe you could give them like a bottle of wine, but just know that they might not drink, but they could always re-gift it. So keep that in mind. Don't like put their name on or anything but always just like a whole bunch of card like a christmas card and the thing just like attach it to it um i know that they really like thank you like thank you like notes cards and all that stuff so i have three for each teacher and inside i'm just going to write a quick little blurb um you guys can get cards literally anywhere so this is what i did i'm going to wrap it with like the big plastic with a bow on top well with ribbon but this is what my kids present looks like um, there's a lot of stuff in here. So, uh, my child's in kindergarten, so I got stuff that was more kindergarten friendly, but you guys can buy, like, if your kid has, like, an older teacher, buy pencils. I know teachers, especially when I was younger, they always went through a shit ton of pencils. So, I would definitely go with that. So, I'm going to give you guys a rough summary of what's in here before, like, I start pulling stuff out. So, I have Sharpies. You can even do, like, gel pens or whatever for the teachers for marking if they're older. I put boxes of crayons, three boxes of crayons actually, and then lots of glue sticks. There is, I think, five or six glue sticks in here, and then I did washable markers, and then construction paper, because especially in kindergarten, they go through a lot of construction paper. So I did that, and then I went over to Indigo, and there is a few um, teacher's books that are really great um, that I found, but I thought this one for fit Leslie's teachers better because it looks more like rainbow, kindergarten, kindergarten oriented, and they can always just leave this in their classroom. So it just says a teacher is the greatest gift. And then on this page, it says, I love my teacher blank. So miss whatever or Mr. Whatever, because, and you can put little reasons why. So I thought that was super cute. And this book is basically just saying how teachers like guide them through and they have just such an impact on them and all of that stuff so it's a super cute book and i actually highly recommend this one if your kid is younger recommend you guys can also buy um if you really want buy um what are they called math manipulation little tools like those blocks and all that stuff because i know teachers go through a lot of those and kids lose them so I also would recommend that. I got um, washable markers. I don't know if they use these, the teachers might on their big poster boards. Um, glue, lots of glue. I wasn't sure what type of glue they used. So I just got a big one and a little one. And then I did for each teacher, I got three Amazon gift cards. I was going to do Starbucks and I was gonna do the bookstore and I was gonna do Staples. But then I was like, realistically, you can buy anything off of Amazon. So I just got gift cards for each off of Amazon. Um, I personally did $10 each. I wanted to do more, but this present honestly was pretty expensive when I did it all together. So I just did $10 each, which I feel like is fine. Teachers don't expect anything anyway. So I thought that was sweet. And then for each teacher, I did a mug. And this one says, it takes a big heart to shape little minds. And then obviously they can put like pencils on it, pens in it, whatever it may be, um, or they can drink out of it, but it's just a super cute mug. So I did that. And then I got this one because I actually went back. Leslie had a third teacher come into her class. Um, after I already bought these mugs like last month. So I had to run back to the store and I got this one, which I thought this was super cute. And it comes with this little apple keychain. Another thing that you can do that my mom did for us growing up was you just get an apple with like a leaf and a stem and um, just, here, let me demonstrate. Hole punch the corner of this, make sure it's not the card, stick a ribbon through it 
attach it to the apple stem and that's a great gift too um if you're trying to be like budget friendly and you can do like ten dollar gift card to wherever and then along with like a dollar apple and you're perfect that's the easiest gift to give giving just a handwritten note would be super nice and sentimental just saying how much like you appreciate them and especially right now they're teaching during a global pandemic so um show your recognition to them even if it's just a card i feel like that's very sweet even you can just get like a card and put a gift card inside that is also more than enough clearly i went above and beyond but this is because leslie's first year of school and it is kindergarten so i'm also just that type of mom i guess but anyways i hope that gave you guys some ideas you guys can even just do like a book with a gift card or a book with a card um so many great suggestions i know in canada and the u.s it's on the teachers more so to buy the school supplies and leslie's teachers before school started they gave each kid two books um and crayons um rocks just some other things to like keep learning and um some cool activities then they sent home a remote learning school like little bag full of math manipulatives a pencil eraser um and do a tangs of some lessons that they'll do over zoom if we do go to remote learning so leslie's teachers do go above and beyond for each and every child which is why i want to go just a little bit above and beyond for them um then i would suggest personally what we're gonna do is i'm gonna wrap this up and then at the end of the day for our school gonna give it to leslie to bring up to her teachers um because that just is easier or you can get to them in the morning but if you are doing like a heavier gift make sure that like you can help them carry it or someone can and if you're just doing like a card or something make sure they like actually can hand it to their teacher put it in their bag let your teachers know let the teacher know that you are doing that so that the present gets to them and doesn't just end up somewhere um so i hope this video is helpful let me know in the comments if it was let me know what you guys are doing and if you are teachers what is the most appreciative gift and what is something you're like i don't want more of gift um so we can know for next year or even this year so i love you guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one